So it was Meow's copy. That was Meow's copy. And now it's your turn. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> um, man, I'm going to need a recap. Let's see. Yon Hon Ashide Ayumi Yotte Kita Nochi Nihon Ashide Tachi Agari. Uh, is that Shaka? Shaka! Okay, that's a that's a sound effect. Yep. Ah, <laughs> uh, to uh, surdoi sume o eh, dashita. So kcha is the sound effect of dasuing tume. Oh, okay, okay, that's a. Uh, Sumi is the uh, clause, right? Yep. All right, okay. Okay, so, yon hon ashi, ashi or is it is like the, the four four legs? Yep, four legs. Okay, you that makes them, sense. Say, ayumi yotekite. So, aruku, what does aruku mean? Like walk? Yep. And then the yotekite is like chikazuku, basically. Wait, what was that? Uh, chikazuku, to, to get close, basically. Oh, the... chikazuku, okay. So ayumi uh, yoru is a way to say to walk up to. So where did he walk up to him? In the mai or the nochi? <laughs> uh, nochi. Yes, like, was he in front of him or behind him when they walked up to Nyalsu? Wait, 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 hold on. This is behind, right? Yep. So, right, right. Kami is, so Nyals is facing this way. Copy is also facing that way. Oh. Okay, so the copy is just uh, approaching him from behind. Yep. And then what did it do? So it walked there on four legs. Then it tachya garid on nihon asi. So it stands up on two legs. Yep. And then what is the final thing it does? All right, let's see. Seka to surudiksen, the sharp claws came out. I yep. guess like it kind of like unsheathed its claws. Exactly. All right. And then Nyasu mo omo wazu tume o daste mi gaeru. So Nyas notices this and to he without thinking he also lifts out his claws and readies himself to battle. Ga nipiki wa jibun no tume o mite kao shikameta. However, when the two animals uh looked at their own claws, they their faces uh shikameta. Which I feel like means like you frowned. Scam <laughs> is to pull. Yeah, it's it's to scowl, to be grimace, to be like, ugh. Wait, wait, um, what is migama? Migama iru. What? What is? Oh, migama iru. That's to ready your body, like to prepare okay. your. Uh, uh, kamaidu is to prepare and me is body. So migamaidu just means to prepare your body for something. So All right. It's saying he's readying to scratch off his face. Is migamaidu. Uh, now it's your turn. All right. All right. Um, the talk. Oh, part. the quotes, right? Yep. Okay. Kore, uh, itai nyaronya. Yeah. What did they say? I don't know. <laughs> I. This... I'm sorry. The the nyas are throwing me off here. Or what? So it's something like this. This would hurt, wouldn't it? And the cat's like, yeah, maybe. Uh, and you get to continue for the actual line. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so done it, right? Yep. All right. So done it. Eh, to. Uh, Nyasu no copy wa eh, doi suru to eh, tsume o hi gome 
Tesh. Aquí como Teshaga. Uh, Mikonda. Nice. So, soda na to nyas no kopi. So, what does that part mean? Before, before we get the wa. Soda ne to nyas no kopi. Uh, so, so, well, so that is more kind of like a like a confirmation thing, right? Yeah. So Neil, so went yeah, yeah. So that's a translation. So right they there. both agreed. They did. That's the doi suru part, though. Oh yeah, they have, it's like the same thought, right? So so what happened is that Neil can talk, and he went kore itai nyaoro nya, which is this would really hurt, wouldn't it? And then the Meowth copy goes, yeah. And then the, because the Meowth copy does not speak English, they told us that Meowth no copy. He said, so done it. That, that was what, that was the, that's the translation of, yeah. Okay. So the copy, who was like, yeah, you're right. He, um, and then with, in, a, in doi suru, which is the in agreement part. In agreement, the Meowth copy, does the tsume o hikomete shagami konda? What is shagami konda? Yeah. Um, shagami komu means to crouch down. So it's the opposite of tachiagaru. So he sits down basically. So sits down its claws? Yeah. So his claws, he tsumeo hikikomete. That's what he did with the claws. With his body, he sagami kondad. Oh. Hold on. Hikomete is that's kind of like to. It's like a, that also means to like to draw out, right? Or is it the opposite? To pull back in? Yes. Hikomete. To pull back in. Which I guess if you said withdraw, that actually uh, is the right we think. Uh, I just, it sounded weird for some reason. I was like, if that's what you said. Okay, I don't, okay, okay. So yeah, yeah. He, he pulls back in his claws and then he sits down on the floor. And you can continue the, the line. Hmm. Yes. So, so, uh, ke Daruso ni eh, ushiro ashi de eh, kao kaku. So ke daru is uh, like lazy like. Ke daru is lazy like? Yeah, like listless, lang languid, lazy like. Laid back. Like in a lazy like. Okay. So ke daru so ni in a lazy like. Uh, in, I assume. Ushiro ashide. It's like the back, the back legs. So this is a cat. So it has four legs. So we're not talking about its arms. We're just talking about its legs. But because it's so not. It's hind legs. Yes. I just heard myself in, in on your side. That was weird. <laughs> and then Ow. de e kaokaku. What do you um, think it's using its hind legs to do to its face? Scratch it? I don't know. Yep. So it's what Kaku scratch. Yep. So he takes All his right. leg and does a very dog like action. I don't know if I don't think cats normally do this, but I do remember in the anime that happening. So yep. Oh, so. Okay. <laughs> Pokemon doshi mina tadakate iru no ni omai zurui nya. So even though we're all Pokemon, every so we're 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 fellow Pokemon, and even though everybody's fighting, you're kind of um zurui, which is like uh like a cheap shot. <laughs> zurui, hmm. you're sneaky. You're unfair. Um, so he's saying. You're you're a sneaky one, meow. And then the and then you get the next line. Mm -hmm. Oh, this next line is funny. <laughs> it's, it's okay. 
あニャスがあ言うと、ニャスのコピーはあーニャーニャーニャーニャーニャーニャーニャーニャーニャーニャーニャーニャーニャーニャーニャーニャーニャーニャーニャーニャーニャーニャーニャーニャーニャーニャーニャーニャーニ So it just finished quoting the、uh, other meowth, and then this、yeah. time we had the copy just going. Nya, 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 nya. Meow. Yep. Do you know what uttaita means?、Uh, not specifically, no. I assume it's it, some sort of quotation. To、um, appeal to somebody. So basically, he's ha- they're having like an argument, basically. So meowth is like, man, you're a, che- you're, you're a crafty guy, aren't you? And the other guy goes, no, 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 no. You know, like,、oh, okay, okay. He kind of has like their, it's not just he talks, but it's that he's like, I have an、We're、opinion. A little quabble there. Yeah. Nani. And then we have a quote here. Oh, no, 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 Why do you not fight? Tatakawanai. That's all. Why will I not fight? Nyasu no kapi wa nya nya to nyasu no tsume o yubi sasta. Which is the miyas kapi goes nya nya and then points at nyas、um, claws. And、um, now it's your turn.、Oh, okay, okay. Next page. 167. All right, there's an expect. Okay. Sono, sono to me, itai da ro, nya, dato. So, okay, he's saying that、uh, claws would hurt, huh? So, earlier, nya、um, says, kore itai nya da ro nya. So, Nyao, the copy is saying Nyao Nyao.、So、he, he, oh, he was quoting him earlier. Yeah, so this is like a double quote. <laughs> is, okay. Nyao,、so、quote he's、me. just reciting, he's just translating what the other the copy was saying. He's like, oh,、yeah. I did say that earlier, didn't I? Yes. So, so you're saying that I said that. So, you said I said. <laughs> But, I, I like this interaction because, like, <laughs> it kind of it, it kind of breaks the fourth wall. Like, he doesn't need to translate exactly what's being、yep. said, but. He is anyway. Yep,、yeah. yep. Yep. Nyas no copy wa nya to unazuita. So, the nyas copy nods and goes, nya. That's your turn. <laughs> おみやの、おみやの、つめの方がもっと痛いのにゃ。あ、そういう、よ、せ、せ、よ、よ、claws would hurt more。Yep、exactly。にゃお、your claws would hurt more than mine。Yep。にゃおすが、why is that a thing？ I don't know。<laughs> What did he like?、Uh, does he like file his claws or something? So they're kind well, of dull. I, 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 I think、um, this right here, you know, is what Meowth is saying rather than what、um, Meowth copies.、So、the idea is that, you know, Meowth is kind of like a domestic cat, you know? Yeah,、so、I would assume he doesn't have. <laughs> <laughs> like, he doesn't have any Pokemon moves anymore. Like, he, he's kind of like really pathetic. So I、it's、think he's just saying. That's、um, the copy would probably beat him up <laughs> if they actually fought. Okay, then that statement would make a lot more sense. Um, Nyao Saga Yubi Sasu to Nyao Sa no copy wa Omo Muro ni Soro Miyageta. So Nyao points at the Meow's copy, and the Meow, you know, kind of just looks up at the sky. Nyao Sa Umo Turare Te Miru. So Meow, like, Sees him look up, and so because of that, he's kind of like lured in to also look at the same direction, which you know is upward. And your turn. What is Omomuro? Be like suddenly, I believe. I can double check. 
All right. Suddenly, abruptly. It can also mean like slowly and deliberately, which is weird. Um, this is probably like so. It's suddenly in a slowly like way. So there's like no like reason why he should be looking up. So he's like, "Hey, how are you?" And he goes, "Hmm." Slowly looks up, but there was no like reasoning beforehand. Is what. Okay. All right. Uh. Wait. Wait. Where, where are we at? Yo. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Yozora o. Uh, I gotta get closer. Yozora o. O kuroi kumo ni pokkari to anaga anaga aki matataku hoshi ga mieta. Okay, so Yozora is that is that like night sky? Yep, Yozora. Yoru no to. What is o? O o o o o to cover something. So cover. So so the night sky is covered by black clouds. Yep. However, there's now a tokari to ana no ga aki. So think of ana like metaphorically. All right. Uh, what is pokari? It's a sound effect, so you could ignore it. What does ana mean? Is that like hole, right? Yeah. So we have a hole that akud the kumo, right? What was that? You have a hole that akud that open. There's a hole that opened oh, up. Okay. In the, Sky, so pokari just like sound effect doesn't, doesn't really mean much. So in that hole, what can we mieru? Let's see, matataku. I'm not sure about not sure. that. But what the hostis do? Wait, what was that? Well, we're just ma, matataku is describing any hoshi. So what do like, would it, would it, it would in this case would it be the stars since you're looking at the night sky? So or like, you're or are they referring well, to planets? Well, in this case, it would be stars. All right. Um. So if you were seeing planets here, there's nothing saying you can't be seeing planets here. Um. But that would be weird because as far as we know about the Pokemon world. Um, there's not like a planet Jupiter like right there in the sky. Really, True. we have the idea. And even even if you could see in the night sky, you wouldn't be able to distinguish it very easily. Not yeah. among a bunch of stars, anyway. Yeah. So Hoshi in the, is basically just stars, but it does mean you know planet stuff in general. Um, but it just you can you can assume by context that we're just talking about the. Pika pika no hoshi, because we have matataku, which means to blink. So we have blinking stars. So that's what we can meet that. So all together. So is it. Okay. So is it the blinking stars that look? Who's looking? I mean, the. Uh... From what I understood, it was it was a the meowth copy is looking up yeah. at the sky. Yep, mieta means you are able to see stars blinking through the hole, the the gapping, suddenly appearing hole in the black clouds that are covering the night sky. Is what that says. Okay. Is. Okay. Okay. So if I understand correctly, the night sky is basically like just covered by black clouds, but there's like a yeah. there's like an opening where you can see. The night sky. Yes, which is right okay. above them. Okay. Um, All right. Nya no tsuki wa marui daro te honto kyo wa mankechu daro nya. 
So he's saying, tonight the moon is round, isn't it? You said, oh, you're right. Today is a full moon, isn't it? So right over here, we have that Hoshi referring to the moon as well, the stars, since, you know, mm -hmm. it's just planet stuff. So there, there's your, it is including the moon in this case, uh, because we're not Earth. So they're on a Hoshi. The moon's the Hoshi. The little stars are Hoshis. So, so when they're talking about the glittering stars, they are including the moon in that specific phrase, most likely. Uh, now it's your turn. Do the two. So you do the cat noise, and then you do the translation. Why oh, you have to make me do the cat noise? <laughs> All right. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, uh, kon, Okay, so food you. So do you have a guess what that could mean? It has to do with like foo as in like style, not foo as in wind. Okay, okay. Uh Mm, oh no, I, I actually don't then. So food you means elegance. It's elegance. 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 Profound. Elegance. What an elegant Tsuki sama. So jide, in other words. Okay. You're talking about the elegant moon. Yep. Konna toki ni o tsuki sama no koto nante o miao for you da miao. So, so what does this say? So what is the this phrase alone, the otsuki sama no koto nante? Like the koto nante, what 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 is that saying here? It's not saying much. <laughs> the the nante yeah. is, is is basically so nante. So you're, you're confused with the koto nante, but it's tsuki sama no koto and then nante. So oh. nante is kind of like a filler word that doesn't like translate well because it's basically like oh my how wonderful wow boo or it, it just it's like a it's a filler word of like amazingness kind of okay, okay. It's, it's just a filler word it's, 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 in other words it's nante furio so nante kind of modifies normally something that follows it so fudio and elegant so like how elegant so you see how how in english is doing the exact same thing that nante is doing how elegant we're not going how elegant is it we're, we're not saying all right we're saying how elegant to mean very elegant right yeah 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 so exact same thing in japanese nante how as in how elegant not how right. elegant is that very, very different um so konna is the same thing as nante so konna is being used to boldify toki, konna toki, which is um, at such a time as now. So right now is so nowness that the old tsuki sama no koto. So we're talking about the sun, the moon. <laughs> that the moon is super duper elegant. Is, is all that's really saying. But he's saying it very, you know, obnoxiously. Konna toki ni o tsuki sama no koto nante. Oh yeah, for two So I wouldn't I wouldn't be sure how to exactly translate it in this kind of way. Which would be, oh my goodness, how wonderful the beautiful the beautiful the elegant moon is. It's what an elegant moon. Such, such an elegant moon. So at such a time, the moon could be so elegant. Oh my goodness. So this oh mia <laughs> is like oh my, sticky. Um, nyam mia. Nipiki wa narande toki ori shippo o ugokashi nagara tsuki ga kakurete iru yozoro o mitsumeta. So, um, so while moving its tail every once in a while, and, um, the two Pokemon are like sitting right next to each other. They're like, line, they're lined up you know, and they're wagging their tails, but not like a dog wagging their tail, but like in a slow, 
just kind of like how a cat just like twitches its tail. Yes, exactly. Um, okay. And they stare up at the night sky that, for some reason, is hiding the moon. I don't. I don't really get the tsukiga kakurete iru, which is the 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 moon is hiding within the night sky. Like, uh, not sure what that is illustrating there, but maybe it's a phrase. Hmm. Does it mean that the the sun has? I mean, the sky has the the tsuki. But kakurete iru. Well, kakurete iru means to hide, and tsuki means moon. So the the moon hiding within the night sky, or the night sky that is hiding the moon. <laughs> it just says what it says. It does. Uh, now it's your turn. Okay, so so basically, to understand this entire interaction, just came like, all right, let's fight. You know what? Let's just look at the moon. Yes. Okay, that was very that's, interesting escalation or the escalation. I mean, that's definitely what happened in the original version. So. I mean, yes, I guess so. <laughs> all right, all right. Mangatsuga. こう、こうと、え、輝く雲海の上では、え、ミュート、ミュートが、え、対峙していた。え、満月、え、ツフルムーンライト。イエップ。オーライト。うん、こうこう。いや、the so we have a to and then we have a verb. What do you think that means? It's oh, that is it's modifying the verb. It is modifying the verb. So in this case, rather than using a sound effect, we have an actual word, which is koko, which means brilliant. So brilliant. Yeah, brilliantly kagayaku. You know what kagayaku means? Oh, that's that's like. God, man, I I can barely see that. Kagayaku? Sorry, I was looking. I was looking at the the furigana, and I I I didn't really. I thought that was like kagayaku. It's kagayaku. Kagayaku. Okay. Yep, has hikari is one of the parts of the kanji. Oh yeah, yeah, right. Kagayaku. And dang. What would that be? Kagayaku. What do what? So we saw ma ma. Let's see what, what do we see? Uh, matataku. But kagayaku, I would say, is similar to that in this context. The mangetsu is kagayaku. So um, what does hikari mean? Well, hikari is light. Yes. So kagayaku means to shine. So in other words, mangetsu ga koko to kagayaku means the full moon is shining brilliantly. I get I get it. I get it. Nice. And then we're uh, okay, so full moon shining. Okay. Shining brilliantly. Uh unkai is just like Clouds, mm -hmm. the ocean, water, sea. The so ocean here is describing cloud. What was that? The ocean is describing the cloud. The, the clouds are above it. They are above the uh, the ocean. No, that that'd be ocean and sea. Nope, that's this is clouds being described by sea so it's not there's an ocean there's a sea it is a sea of clouds oh, okay. oh. so so cloudy <laughs> <laughs> it's just sea clouds so then we have unkai no ue dewa mewto mewto so this is a location, right? Unkai no ue. Oh, so basically, okay, okay. So now, okay, it's just setting up for the next 
uh, clause is just saying that yeah. the uh, while while they're looking at the the full moon um, uh, up in the in the sea of clouds, uh, you could also see uh, Mew and Mewtwo there. Uh, and then that's Tai. Thai. So Thai, do you know what Thai tends to mean? Thai. Yeah, just the Thai part. Uh, yeah. So Thai can kind of mean VS in Japanese, and Thai Z means to like face each other, kind of. So Thai Z state is like Mew's on one side, Mewtwo's on the other side. They're making eye contact, you know. They're ready to smack into each other, as one would expect. <laughs> Um, monosugoi speed o de gekito tsuste wa hanare unkai no e o kosoku de ido shinagara seme giao. So, super duper fast, they crash into each other, then separate, separate from each other. And above the clouds, they're while being, um, while moving super duper fast, um, they semegi ao, which I feel like means to growl, which must mean to fight, actually. It must mean to fight in this context. Semegi, fighting each other or conflict. Okay. So they fight each other above the cloud, clouds moving in super fast speed. Ban! And it's your turn. <laughs> uh, let's see. あ、ニュートとえ、ハゲ、あ、ハゲしくえ、ちょっと、ちょっとつしたにはえ、雲海の穴に飛び込んだ。ニュートハゲしく。So, Gekitotsu and Shototsu are basically the same word. So, is it some sort of... Wait, hold on. What does the Totsu mean part again? Um, to poke. To poke. Yeah. So, gekitotsu and shoutotsu modify poking to mean to smack into something. Like, wow. Okay, I was like thinking, like, is this like some sort of weird attack we're doing? It is a tacky thing. It's, 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 just, it's just a collision. Gekitotsu and shoutotsu. No real difference. That's why they're using it, describing the same exact um, event. You know? Uh -huh. uh, you just you know how when you write a book you have to use every single book. <laughs> no, no, yeah, it's. It, I mean, you so, just gotta not repeat words, so, else you just yeah. kind of like. Some... If, if you if you don't have to repeat, you must not do it. So then we have ha hageshku, which is describing hageshku. the way in which they collided. How do you think they collided? Do you think they collided softly? <laughs> no, imagine if they did collide softly. Uh, uh, they 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 do rammed into each other. Yep. So hagesku means roughly, like very very aggressive. Hagesku shototsu shita niwa. Okay, so he crashed by by uh, violently, I guess. Yep. Anyway, um, with new uh unkai no anani. Uh, Toby Konda and they flew up. I, I guess they, they flew up into the the set a hole in the clouds. So that is a really good guess. However, where was Mew and Mewtwo located originally? Unkai originally, no they were above the clouds. Yeah. So how would you fly into? Oh, I mean up into the Unkai. That is true. You would fly down through, you wouldn't you? Down into the Unkai. Just because of the I kind of forgot where they were. 
Yeah, so that that's just a context thing because they're flying, right? They're up in the air, so they're flying into the hole. So best to avoid the up and downs in case, if you don't know where people are. I mean, they didn't say which way they were going, but like they're, I guess it's implied down. that they went down. Uh, it, the next sentence is what tells us they go down, though. So if you were actually translating this, you could just go uh, back. Okay, and okay. Like, wait, because it goes Mewtwo mo ato o oite kou ka So it says Mewtwo also um, follows after Mew and descends kou ka si. And then Futatabi once again gekitotsu. So once again collides. So gekitotsu to totsu gekitotsu. So I gotta make sure it's three other, huh? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, and now it is your turn. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, this one looks a little bit too bad. Let's see. There's a lot of cups. Battlefield de wa Pokemon to Pokemon. No copy no tatakai ga now mo tsuite ita. What does the now mo do? I mean, I feel like you could guess, but it means um, furthermore, now mo. It hasn't stopped, in other words. Tsuite. Yeah. So, okay. So, back at the battlefield. Uh, Let's see the, the the Pokemon. They're just still fighting. They're you know. yep. The Pokemon, Pokemon copies. They're still fighting. That's it. That's that's the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, no... book. Thank you, book. We would have no had no idea. Dibuno copy ni tatakai o idomareta Pikachu wa nando nando tonaku tsuki tobasarete mo. So the Pikachu that was challenged to a fight by its own Pokemon copy, um, for for several times it has been no matter like how many times it was sent flying, it will not start fighting with the copy Pikachu. And Ubi, want to All right. Uh... はい、ポテキ、ライト。Need some light over here. Oh, okay, okay. Ipotek. So Ipotek is one sidedly. One sidedly? Yeah, because oh, Pikachu so is not. It's just like a one sided thing. But Pikachu no copy is Tatakaoing. Hmm. Okay, okay. That, 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 that one. What does okay, kōgekiyo okay. mean? Kōgekiyo ukeru. Kōgeki, I know it's like an, it is an attack. Yep, and ukeru? Uh, like, it's like receive. Yep, so the Pikachu continuing to receive attacks one-sidedly. Pikachu no karada wa boroboro datta. Ah, yes. Boroboro is uh, some sort of... It's definitely a sound or like some verb or what? It it is a it is an automatopoeia, but it's like a pretty common automatopoeia like word. Uh, it looks like you could also have kanji for it. Interesting. I am I am uh man I am I am not good with these onomatopoeias. I keep forgetting what these mean. What do you think Pikachu's body would be like if it just continued to receive attacks one sidedly? I mean, well, he'd be pretty beat up and kind of That's like. Just... <laughs> it means beat up, ragged, run down. All right, well. <laughs> what you would think it would mean. Sai, sai. I mean, 
No, no, no. Definitely, he would not be beat up. He would take it like a like a champ. He'd be all pika pika, <laughs> pika pika sort of oh. pika, all, all brand new and sparkly. But yeah, in general, <laughs> whenever you see a sound effect, um, you can normally guess by context what it means. So. All right, all right. The ball. So if it's yeah. pika pika, pika pika sort then definitely that'd be confusing because it's all nice and I don't fine. Know. Maybe it's just that comma that kind of like separates the ideas for me. But like, and, uh, and I, I, I guess it, it was referring back to his the state of his body. So the way how the comma, does, wow. so the way how the yeah. comma goes is that it's there to tell you like half the time it's there to tell you where the subject starts because otherwise this would be hard to read. So it's kind of lets your eye go down and go like, oh, Pikachu is the subject. And then we have the Ibun no kopi ni tsukao itamu or Ippo teki ni kogeki o uketsuita in Pikachu. So that whole part over there is describing the karada. So it's kind of there to help you to find, like, you can see in this specific page, 168, we see a comma after the wa mm. in all these, like, so this is basically that is true. Um, that is true. I'm seeing there's only one sentence where it's being used to separate um ideas, which oh, is that's, um, that's the only one that's being used for that. So it, there's probably a rule where if it goes after the wa, it's just there to help you see that the subject's there, and then we're describing it first to describe what the subject is, and then that same subject is doing the second. Okay, you know. okay, this this helps me combined clauses now yeah so it's it's just the you know commas exist in all languages to make things easier to read <laughs> or at least in yes. English, Japanese, that's what they're for so sometimes it is for separating ideas that definitely does exist and there are examples on here for that but if it's after wa it's just not separating ideas it's just helping right. you <laughs> it's so you can take a breath you're like oh you can just calm down and not try to piece together everything without having to yep. piece the entire the beginning and the end of the entire sentence. Yep. Uh Hane Tobasarete Jimeni Taureta Pikachua uh Itami o Koraite Tachiagaro to Suruga Tikaraga Hai Ha Hairazu Tsubuste Simao. So the Pikachu who had collapsed to the ground after being sent flying, this Pikachu um, is about to stand back up, even though it like looks super hurt, but um, it is unable to have that amount of power to do so and kind of just like collapses onto the floor is what yeah i think to push that means to collapse oh i kind of guessed some of these words to push that yeah you're just guessing uh to push that means to fall well i i guess the koda i do for the time i guess two vocab words in this so okay okay that's that's good so koda i do means to bear so this is actually saying as if, so um, he's about to stand up bearing his pain and then, but however, he's unable to muster his power and collapses on the floor is actually what it's saying. So I was a little off okay. with the Chikamiyo Kodai part. So yeah, it, g guessing vocab words is an important skill to master. <laughs> but I uh, yes, guessing words. Guessing words. Yeah, so like to push that, I guess right. <laughs> um, cause yeah, um, Hayrazu is without entering power. So I I also assume that was without being able to gather power. So obviously that would mean he would collapse. And Tsuchi agaro to is to be about to stand, but you do not actually succeed in the verb because we have ro to suru is always used mm. when you do not succeed. So that that's how that logic came about. Pikachu. Somebody yells, I don't know who, maybe Pikachu. Um, and your turn on next page, 169. All right. Tatakae to 
Semaru Pipetu no copy mo tsukare ateteita. Nice. So Pikachu is what the Pikachu copy says. So what was the translation of Pikachu? Just fight. Fight. Yep. Like fight me. Why so won't you fight me? Why won't you fight me? Am I not good enough? Tsukare <laughs> hatateita. Uh, Let's see, that at the, at the end of the sentence. The most important part is tsukareru. Uh, uh, oh, 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 okay, tired, okay. Yep. So, the copy no Pikachu mo tsukare hatteiru means the copy Pikachu is also super duper tired. Do you know what semaru means? Huh? Do you know what semaru oh, means? Sem mm, no. So this means to approach, because you know, Pikachu slapped Pikachu so hard that Pikachu went fly. <laughs> and Pikachu's like, fight me! And has to get closer, you know, even though he's tired. So semaru means to get close to. Uh, Nantoka tachiagata Pikachu wa Pikachu to kubi o yoko ni futa. So the Pikachu who somehow manages to stand up um, shakes his head horizontally and says Pikachu. Suruto uh, Pikachu no kopi ga toshin shite kite Pikachu ga uh, Suddenly, um, the Pikachu copy, um, like, does a tackle. And to see, there's that totsu right there to poke, and then sheen as in to move forward, so to tackle with the body, mm. uh, I assume, toward Pikachu. Uh, Pikachu goes flying. Oh, my goodness. And Pikachu! And All right, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Hashira wo uh, tsuta te orite ita uh, satoshi wo wa uh, futoba sareta Pikachu o mite uh, giriri giriri is a sound effect, right? Yep. To uh, Kuyashi so ni hagamishita. So, okay. this giriri, is it describing kuyashi or hagamishita? I think it's describing hagami. Yes, I just want to double check. Because <laughs> I, think, I think, based on just my understanding of what ha is, it's teeth. So, I'm just assuming this is a clenching of teeth. He is. Or yep. Okay. He grunts, the sound of glinting your teeth is giddy -de -de -de, apparently. Giddy -de -de -de. Um, and then we have kuyashi so. Do you know what that means? Kuyashi. No. So kuyashi kind of means like anguished. And so is just letting us know that we right now are not reading Ash's mind. So it looks like Ash is very vexed by something. And he grits his teeth and it goes, dee -dee -dee -dee. that's how hard he's gripping his teeth. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's appearing to be in English because he's looking at his poor Pikachu buddy being. Yep. So let's look at the first comma. Uh, Our subject is Satoshi. -wa. So let's describe what is Satoshi doing? All right. So Satoshi is um, just doing something uh, to. The yep. He's um ori doing. Is that like so he's like like sliding down? He is sliding down, yep. Uh to means the like to be like in contact with basically in this context, and ori do is to go down. So he's sliding down and to ori 
ori te ita satoshi wa. Okay. Uh, uh, futo bare no basare da. Okay, let's. So Satoshi Mites a Futobasareta Pikachu. Wait. Satoshi Mites a Futobasareta Pikachu. Okay, so I assume he's uh he's looking at Pikachu being I guess thrown. Look. Yeah, because he got like smacked into, so he was just like flying in the air for a little bit. Pikachu, the Pikachu copy has the biggest, most aggressive slap. Just pwa. Pikachu goes flying away. Pwa. I mean, that's just anime logic. It's anime it's, logic. It's not really special to him, but like, I, I, I guess. Yep. So altogether, it is. Uh, Ash slides down the pillar and watches Pikachu be blown away, and he is very vexed by this and clenches his teeth. Ash stares in, in, in yeah. silence and horror as he sees his buddy Pikachu being uh, so hor- harassed. So horrified. And tortured. Yeah. Dan-toka shinakereba Satoshi wa isoi de hashire o tsui ori yo to shita. So I have something, ha- I have to do something. And Ash, super duper fast, like hasty, like, like he didn't, he hurries. And he hurries to um, finish getting off of the, the pillar. Um, and uh, your turn. All right. Um, Isogu, right? That's turning there. Yeah. All right. Isoku amari ashi yo suberasete. Uh, she so hurriedly. The last verb down there, suberasete. I'm not sure. Oh, suberu means to slide. Oh, to slide. Okay, okay. So su suber. So he, he just quickly kind of like slides. Um, what does this have to do with his legs? Well, this is the I'm new. Not eat. With his feet. I don't know. Wait, what was that? Uh, I just would read the whole thing, so it kind of continues with the ua and the the next sentence. Just do the whole whole guy. Hold on. All right. All right. Ua. Okay. Ua. Um. Mashita no kankaku seki ni ochi kaidan jo ni natta zaseki o koroge ochiru. I'm seeing a lot of falling verb. Yes, Otidu is so. falling. So Ashi is his feet, because you know he walks on his feet. And he suberare. Yeah. So suberu, I told you, means to slip. Yeah. So this means that he lost his footing because he was, went, he, he hurried too much. And he lost his footing and went, Wah! and he, oh, I see. he did, and directly down the mashita to the kan. Kakuseki. What do you think kan kakuseki means? The what? Kan kakuseki. Most important part is seki. And kaku. So if you look at the kanji, you could probably guess what this means. The, we, he's at this battlefield location, right? So yeah. seki, what does seki mean? Seki. Uh, seki. 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 What is Seki? I should, I probably, seki I should know this. You should. It's a seki. Seki. So what, what? Okay, so what? He's on the stadium now? 
Yes, but where in the stadium is he at? This, this is a the whole the whole area they're at. The battlefield is a big ass stadium. Remember? Okay, but he's he's like in the uh, like the the audience kind of like you know exactly. where the seating area. Is. Yep. Khan means to observe. Kyaku means customer, and Seki means seats. So the seats of the observing customers. So the the seating area. So that's where he oh, fell no, in. Yeah, right. Now he see it. Okay. And um, also, he kaidan jo ni natta da seki o koroge ochiru. So he continues to um to like to fall basically. Wait. Kaidan is the stairs, right? Yeah. So, uh, what is Jo? Jo is just like the situation. <laughs> so the it's situation that the seats that have become a staircase. <laughs> I <And> see. Because <laughs> so he he fell directly down onto the customer seat, and then he continues to tumble down these seats as if they're like a staircase. Is, is what the, I mean, yes, because, because so, the staircase's intent is to be tumbled down, so it's just like yeah. stairs. I yeah, see, I see. Rather than down, like it, it, it'd be weird to tumble down stairs, right? But if you tumble down a sta- I mean, tumble down seats, like what? But tumbling down a staircase is something that's like easier to like imagine, you know, you're like, you're going, ow, bump, bump. <laughs> You know, you you got pushed down the stairs. Ah, yes. So, so that's it's gotta saying, hurt though, falling down a bunch of chairs. So much. So yeah. So he he tumbled down a stair the the seats as if the seats was tumbling down a staircase. Is is what that's saying. Um. So. Okay. So you he, he he just basically he slips and basically, he just starts. Falling He's a down. full <laughs> Yeah. Oh boy. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> yep. Uh, Pikachu no copy wa hane to basta Pikachu ni ayumi yori, which is the Pikachu copy um, dr- walks closer to the Pikachu that has been flo- like rammed into and flown away like pushed away and that is where we'll be stopping today on page that was a very interesting reading session i will say that yep that was so in conclusion um meowth and meowth copy were just looking at the moon uh mew and mewtwo are still fighting everyone yep. else is still fighting well, and, some people uh, collapsed, I think. <laughs> that's true. And then Ash does a lot of slipping and falling. Ash did a full tumble down the stairs. Down the Indeed. Ash, Ash is just We're a getting big... closer to the end. Yep. 